Data is extremely important in the banking industry today. Believe it or not, banks house the deepest and most personal data sets about their customers over any other institution, including Facebook and Google. However, most are not leveraging that data to provide or deliver the tailored customer experiences that their, their customers are demanding today. So when you're putting together a data analytics strategy, you really need to focus it on the customer. How do we serve the customer better? How do we serve them faster? And how do we serve them, quite frankly, cheaper? Data is such a challenge for banks, primarily due to the antiquated and siloed infrastructure that they're dependent upon. Most community banks and mid-sized banks, um, they don't have the capability to build a, a complete new course system, so they're reliant upon their core vendors. Um, they have many ancillary systems, so they end up with customer information fragmented across many multiple systems and being able to extract that data, connect it, and provide meaningful insights back to their executives is a true challenge and something that needs to be dealt with. You combine that issue with the fact that banks have limited resources in the technology space, as well as limited dollars to actually spend on true data initiatives, they really have a, a huge obstacles to overcome and it, it's a real problem in the industry today. Creating a strong data culture uh, within banks today should be at the top of your strategic priority list. Um, why? Because banks have an exorbitant amount of data. And in order to fully leverage that data, data must be baked into a bank's cultural DNA. So the senior management team within an organization, they should be focused on getting the entire organization thinking, talking, and walking the path of data analytics. Those that do that, they get the data in the, in the hands of the right people at the right time, they are going to have a significant competitive advantage in the marketplace. When approaching the creation of a strong data culture, as with any initiative, tone at the top matters. Any initiative without broad C-level support inside of an organization most likely is going to end up stuck in the mud. And by support, I mean financial and budget support, as well as navigating internal office politics. In order to be successful, bankers must get out of their individual silos. They must be willing to share data across the organization, and everyone must understand that data is an enterprise-wide asset. Ford's role in building a data culture within your organization first starts with embedding data analytics into the overarching strategic plan of the organization. Secondly, the board's got to hold senior management team accountable for achieving those objectives, especially those data-driven ones um, that have been identified. And finally, the board must be willing to provide ongoing investment and support for an initiative that crosses the entire organization such as this one. Customers are demanding. Um, they expect you to know what they want. They expect you to know when they want it. Um, and, and they expect to be able to get it very easily. And so no doubt there is a significant financial investment involved in building a data-driven culture within your organization. But you must ask yourself, what's the cost of not acting?